What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna be reacting to SML movie Finders Keepers by Super Mario Logan or Super Luigi Logan. Now, I'm not really sure what to expect. The title is of, um, you know, the crew, and it looks like they found a bunch of cash, so I guess I can only assume a fight is going to break out around who's going to get the money. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, with that being said, the original links in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Super Mario Logan as well as Super Luigi Logan. Both links are in the description. And I have any further ado. Let's begin. So, Junior, what do you want to do today? Yeah, dude. Well, guess what, guys? I invented this cool game last night. It's really fun. Oh, cool. How do you play? Yeah. Well, guys, you take this baseball and you throw it back and forth. I call it catch. Oh, dude, that's G. Yeah, you, you invented it. Sure. Sure, Junior. You definitely... You definitely didn't find it somewhere else. Genius! Where did you come up with that? I don't know, I just thought of it. Oh, man! Junior, Junior you didn't invent Catch. Catch has been around for <laughs> thousands of years. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't see your name on it. What? Junior, I didn't say I invented Catch. Cody, just shut up and let's play Catch. Back up. <sighs> All right, fine. Cody, if you don't catch this, you're gay. Uh, whoops, I, well, I, I didn't catch it. Uh, Cody, you didn't, you, you didn't even try. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just better at catching balls in my mouth and not in my hand. Oh my goodness. Hey, just get the ball, Cody. Alright. <laughs> Ew, Cody, what was that? Dude, I pooted. What, you pooted? Yeah, Junior. Gross. I, I pooted in my panties. Oh, oh, oh god, it smells like butt. Right? Uh, well, you know what they say, Junior. Your farts smell like what you eat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness, we're only, we're only, not, we're not even a minute in and we already have two, uh, uh, inappropriate jokes. Joseph, can you can you open that window? It smells so bad in here. Oh, oh yeah. don't worry, dude. I'm about to. It was disgusting. <laughs> dude, it stinks. Uh, oh God. Thanks, Joseph. Oh, no problem, dude. Cody, your farts smell really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Usually they don't even make a noise. They're silent, or they just go. Well, Cody, hurry <laughs> and throw it. All right. Uh, do you even know how to throw, Cody? Junior, I'm a much better pitcher than I am a catcher. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're not even a minute and a half in, and you're just like, BAM, 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 with these, with these, uh, dirty jokes. Well, hurry up and throw it, Cody. Look, I'm wide open. Throw it right at me. All right, Junior, here comes the old Cody knuckleball, <laughs> and then I'll throw the ball. <laughs> Shut up, Cody, and just throw it. All right, here it comes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I goofed. But damn right, Cody, you goofed. You shattered my window. Yeah. yeah, with a foam baseball. I mean, that's pretty impressive if you think about it. I got a cannon over here. I sh it is. Foam foam baseballs don't break crap, really. That's pretty impressive. You go pro. Cody, I'm going to get grounded. Well, well, no, not if you don't tell your dad. Yeah, dude, you just don't have to tell your dad. Junior! Random window inspection! Window inspection? Oh, yeah, I don't know. You've never done that before. <laughs> Uh, Dad, uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's time for a random window inspection. Duh! <laughs> and make sure these windows are good. Uh, well, uh, I already checked these windows, and, and they're fine. Are you sure? Y yeah, yeah, I checked them, and they're in tip-top shape. Mm. Okay. Whew, whew, that was a close one. <sighs> random window inspection? Couldn't you have given him a better excuse to come in, like, oh, I've got to come in, says... Uh, I don't know, of a weird smell or something like that, which it would secretly just been Cody smell, but <laughs> I mean, that would have been a better excuse. Wow, Junior, that was a close call. Yeah, dude. Yeah, good thing my dad believed me. Well, let's get the baseball. Well, Cody should go get the baseball. He's the one who threw it. Well, I'm not going out there. It's dark. So? Well, so I'm afraid of the dark, and besides, somebody might kidnap me and then take me back to their house and chain me up and do stuff to me. You know, maybe I should get that baseball. Yeah, go get it, Cody. You're the one who threw it. <laughs> no, Junior, it's still dark, and there might be grasshoppers out there. Grasshoppers? Yeah, you know, they're so scary, and they, they taste bad. Not like caterpillars. You go get the baseball. Me? I'm not the one who threw it. You're the one who's bad at throwing. Well, maybe if you had catched it. Dude, let's all go out there and get the stupid baseball. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just all go get it. All right. Come on, guys. Hey, why didn't they right, do guys, that? Did you see my ball? Uh, no, dude. No, Junior, it's too dark. Well, great, Cody, you lost my favorite ball. I'm sorry, okay? Well, go sniffing for it. What, sniffing? What's that gonna do? Well, you know how police have search dogs and they sniff and find stuff? Well, I'm not a dog, Junior. Well, then what are you? Wh what kind of question? That is a good question. What is he? Because he's not a person. Or maybe he is. I don't know. What question is that? Well, look, we're turtles, so uh, what are you? What, uh, I, I don't know. I guess I'm a turtle like you guys. Well, where's your shell? Well, I I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm a freak. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, cash. What, cash? What? Well, whoa, that, that's got to be like a zillion dollars. Oh, yeah. Well, no, Junior, it's $30,000. Oh, 
$30,000. You better not touch it. Only, you know, someone who does uh, illegal activity carries around that kind of cash, basically, right? Because anyone who has that kind of money would put that in the bank unless you don't want it traced. So, uh... Yeah, don't touch it! Where'd you get that number from, you big dork? Yeah, well, because it's three stacks of $10,000, Junior. What, does that math add up? $30,000? Uh, I don't know, it's good enough for me. Well, look at all this cash, we gotta take it! Oh, yeah, pick it up, pick it up! Junior, we don't know where it came from. I don't from. care, I'm taking it! Whoa, guys, $30,000? What am I gonna do with it? Nothing, Junior, because we don't know where it came from. I know where it came from. Where? Santa Claus. Junior, what makes you think Santa Claus gave you all this money? Because obviously he was flying over my house in his sleigh and accidentally dropped $30,000. Whoops, just dropped $30,000? Well, maybe he meant to give it to me because he saw that you lost my favorite- Oopsie. <laughs> if they are, if they are going to split it, it better be 10 each, right? Because there's three of them. It's pr like the perfect amount. Ball that he gave me for Christmas a few years ago. Whoa, how generous of him. He reimburses people for their lost Christmas presents. Uh, what, was that ball made of gold or something? Uh, yeah, that's why it shattered the window when you threw it. Junior, this doesn't even make sense. Why would Santa Claus be flying around in March anyway? Because every March, Santa Claus flies around and counts houses so he can know what houses to deliver to on Christmas. Uh, okay, but what if they build more houses in April or May or June? June or July. Wouldn't it make more sense for him to do that at the beginning of December? Well, he, he does it every month to make sure his sleigh can keep flying or something. Junior, I, I, how do you know he didn't give the money to me? Because it's not in your front yard, it was my front yard, so obviously he wanted me to have the money. But I'm the one that threw the ball out the window and made us all go outside. Wait, 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 wait. I'm the one that made us go outside. You guys wanted to stay inside. We wouldn't That's have found true. this money if we went outside. That's true. If, if you guys to get a fight over it, just take ten each. That's, there's three of you and there's $30,000 that makes sense. Come on. I? Well, well, it was in my front yard, so he wanted me to have it. Well, guys, this doesn't even make sense. I don't believe in Santa Claus. I'm Jewish. Wait, you're Jewish, so you're already rich. You don't need this money. Yeah, you already have money because you're Jewish, Cody. So look, but, you, you're out of this argument. No. Yeah. All right, Joseph, why do you want the money? <laughs> well, I, I don't have a mom and I'm homeless, so I deserve this money. Okay, you get one stack, Joseph. I get two stacks. But guys, okay. guys, we can't keep this money. We have to give it to the police department. Well, what? Why do I have to give it to them? They didn't do anything. Junior, when you find a lot of money, you're supposed to give it to the police department so they can hold it for 72 hours while they try to figure out who it belongs to. Well, how are they gonna figure out who it belongs to? B by asking? What? Yeah, that's, that's, no, don't, no. Yeah, some random person is like, oh yeah, that's my money, that's my money. <laughs> As I said before, you know, if someone's carrying around this much cash, it's most likely because they don't want to put it in the bank, because as soon as you do that, there's, you know, a paper trail. So whoever, whoever's cash it is, is either... You know, Bill Gates kind of rich where they don't care, or it's you know there's some suspicious activity going on and they don't want uh, they don't want it being traced. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. But this is gonna go ask random people. Hey, did you lose thirty thousand dollars? Of course I did. I, I lost. It was mine. What, Cody, that's stupid. Yeah. They're not gonna ask random people if they lost thirty thousand dollars. Anybody could say they had it. Yeah, everyone's gonna say it was theirs. The whole town's gonna say they lost thirty thousand dollars. That's stupid. They shouldn't ask. It's, it's our money, Cody. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. So we're gonna keep this money, and I'm gonna keep most of it. But, what? what? No, why don't we just split it three ways? We each get exactly. $10, exactly. What? Exactly. We each get ten thousand dollars. Does that math add up, Joseph? I don't know. Uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Mm. It's fair. We I get a snack each. Do it. Uh, I don't know, Cody. You're, you're trying to pull something. Huh? Yeah. Okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll trust you this one time. We each get ten thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna do with your ten thousand dollars, Cody? I don't know, dude. Come on, kid. We rich AF. Uh, Joseph, what are you gonna do with your money? Oh, dude, I'm gonna buy a new mom. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new mom. I want to see how that goes over. What am I gonna do with ten thousand dollars? Hmm. Hey, dude. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Junior. Whoa, Cody. Why do you look like that? Oh, I got LASIK. But I thought you liked Velcro on your shoes. No, Junior, not laces, LASIK, like eye surgery. You got eye surgery? Is that what you spent your money on? Yeah, I have perfect vision now. I can- Why is Ken's crotch ripped open? I see everything, even the dimples on Ken's ass. Before I just kind of had to feel around like Braille, but now I can actually <laughs> see them. I even bought him some crotchless and assless chaps with the rest of my money. Look! Whoa, well, Joseph, what'd you spend your money on? Dude, you won't believe this. I was walking home and then out of nowhere, somebody ran up and robbed me. Somebody robbed you? Yeah. Uh, did you see who did it? No, it was dark. It was probably Junior. It was probably Junior. That's what I'm thinking. And they had a ski mask on. Junior, what is this ski mask? What'd I say? What'd I say? <laughs>
Junior takes after his father quite well. You know how Bowser's really bad? Well, it looks like Junior's that way, too. In your room? Uh, uh, well, that was from the last time I went skiing. Gosh, yeah, pee pee. We live in Florida, Junior. Well, well, well that, that sucks you got robbed, Joe. So that, really, that really sucks. So, Junior, what did you buy with your money? Yeah. Well, guys, you won't believe this, but I bought a star. But, wow, a star? A yeah. star? Yeah, a star. It only cost me 20 grand. No <laughs> way. Wait, how did you get 20 grand? <laughs> uh... Uh, well, I won a skiing competition. That, that's why I had that ski mask. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I bought a star, guys. An actual star. I own a star in the sky. Well, how did you buy a star? Well, I believe you can actually go and buy stars online or something. Of course, it's a joke. Of course, it's a joke. I believe there's a rule that no one can own any, um, any planet or any property outside of Earth. I believe that's like a, there's like a universal rule or something like that. Uh, that, you know, you can't go to the moon and say, oh, I own the moon. Or, or you can't go to Mars and say, oh, I, I own Mars. Or something like that. I believe there's actually a rule for that. Well, I was walking home from Joseph's house. I mean, I, I was walking outside, and I looked up, and I saw the stars, and I said, you know what? I want to own a star. So then this guy with a beard walks up to me, and he asked me for some money, and I said, I really want to buy a star. And he said he sells stars. So I gave, no him, I gave him the 20 grand, and he let me have a star, and I, I, I named it. Now what'd you name it? I named the star Reptar. It's fucking dope. Reptar, nigga. Reptile! Yeah, we are Reptile. Nigga, Reptile, no, oh my god, it's Reptile! It's so wait, so a random person with a beard came up to you and said, Oh, I, I sell stars. Give me $20,000. And you're like, hey! Oh, this seems, this seems like it's definitely not a scam. <laughs> the sickest name ever! Right, right, Reptile, it's a star named Reptile, named after me, and I own it. So you own a star? Yep, I, I can show it to you right now in the sky. Where? But really? Yeah, I can show it to you, I, I know where, exactly where it's at. Show me. Yeah, come on, look. All right, guys, are you ready to see the star that I bought for $20,000? Yeah, dude. Okay. All right, it's up there. Where? All I see is clouds. Uh, well, it's kind of overcast. Uh, you have to look really hard. And, uh, oh, there it is. Wait, J Junior, that's a street lamp. Dude, what? it's huge. That, 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 that's not a street lamp. That, that's my star. That's Reptar right there. That's Reptar. Oh, Reptar. Yeah, Junior, I can see the pole. It's totally a street lamp. Oh, guys. It you got ripped off, my friend. It's just overcast, so it's really hard to see right now. So you have to wait for the weather to clear up, and then I'll be able to show it to you. But it, it's a pretty big star. Okay, uh, Junior, the, the guy that sold you the star, what, what did he look like again? Uh, he had a beard, and he was standing by a cardboard box, and... Oh, he had a sign that said, we'll work for food. What, Junior, that was a homeless man. He's not a homeless man, he's... So not anymore. <laughs> Selling stars for twenty thousand dollars. Obviously, he has a lot of money. Junior, you're an idiot. No, you're an idiot because you didn't buy a star with your money. So Reptar's up there. I, I bought a star. Well, Junior, if you wanted to buy a star, why didn't you just buy the sun? Because planets are more expensive, Cody. You're stupid. <sighs> Junior, you're stupid. You gave twenty thousand dollars to a homeless man. No, I didn't. I bought a star, and you're just jealous. It's, it's about to rain, so let's go inside. <sighs> well, I'm glad I bought something good with my money. Man, I wish I didn't. I kind of wish you didn't buy the uh, LASIK eye surgery because your eyes freak me out. They're freaky. What? Look at that. Why is one bigger than the other? It's always so weird looking at that. You get robbed. Well, I bought the coolest thing out of anything. I, I bought a star. Y yeah. I just wonder who that $30,000 belonged to. Uh, Santa Claus gave it to us. Duh, Cody. Let's just watch TV. Ugh. Let me guess. Goodman. Uh, hello. We have some very urgent news today. Uh, local heart attack boy, nine-year-old Timmy Jenkins, has suffered his 67th heart attack. And apparently what? that was just 66 heart attacks too many because uh, now he is in need of a heart transplant. Um, little Timmy managed to raise $30,000 on his no! own Timmy page. No! But unfortunately, while the money was being delivered, the mailman was hit with a baseball and dropped the money <laughs> in somebody's yard. I, I, I know. I, I, I didn't believe him either. But uh, if you have that $30,000, please, please, please give it to Timmy. He, he really, really needs it. Rest in peace, old Timmy. Your money's freaking wasted on a star and a LASIK eye surgery. Uh, I feel so bad, but I look so good. And so do you, Ken. Mm. Well, guys, you don't think that's the same $30,000 that we found, do you? Uh, yeah, Junior, I do. No, I think it's a different $30,000. Oh, you know what, Junior? I think you're right. I think that's just another $30,000 that somebody dropped in a yard because they get hit by a baseball. Well, guys, even if that's the $30,000 that we found, we can't give it back because we already spent all the money. Yeah, I guess that's true. So there's nothing we can do. I feel really bad, but... Wait, that kid needs a heart transplant, right? Yeah. So why don't we just try to find a heart? How are we gonna get a heart, Junior? Wait, we need a heart? Yeah, a heart. 
They're get, no, they're gonna go after the homeless person. Dude, I know where a heart is. I can find a heart. I got one here. Wait, 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 he's got a heart. Yeah, look, see. What, Jonathan, where'd you get a heart at? I got it from a cow. I got hungry, so you know, I killed a cow so I can make some hamburgers. <laughs> you killed Cody's mom? Damn. Oh. My, 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 my mom is still alive, Junior. Oh, well, 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 look, we got a cow heart. That'll work, right? Yeah. No, Junior, it doesn't even matter because a cow heart won't work inside a person. Well, then how's it work for your mom? Double down. You know what? Let's just use that heart. Fine, do it. Oh, okay, so look, well, let's just send this heart uh, to the... Friggin' roasted. ...person because uh, we got to send it to the mail because if we bring it in person, they'll know that we're the ones that spent the $30,000. Uh, oh, that's true, yeah, dude. Yeah, I guess that's right. All right, so I'm going to go mail this heart. Uh, okay. Give it to us. All right. Uh, hello. So, uh, we have an update on Timmy's situation. <laughs> read that headline. Read that headline. Cowheart sent to help dead kid. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, we have just received this cowheart in the mail, um, in an envelope. I, I had to pay for the postage, so thank you for that. Uh, it had a note stapled to it that said, uh, We're sorry we took the $30,000, but here is a cowheart for little Timmy. So, um, I guess it's the thought that counts, but not really, since Timmy died three days ago. Um, and it wouldn't have even mattered anyway, because this is a cow heart. So, whoever took the $30,000, I hope it was worth it. This, this cow heart is useless. <laughs> wow, Junior, wow! What? You didn't do same-day shipping? That cost like $100! Well, great, Junior, now Timmy's dead. Well, it says even if the heart would have got there in time, it wouldn't have worked. I already told you that! Well, do you still feel bad? Well, yeah, of course I feel bad, but now I can read Timmy's obituary with 2020 vision. Oh, well, that's morbid. That's morbid. Well, I guess the the lesson here is next time we find money, we should just turn it in. Yeah, next time. Yeah. I robbed you, Joseph. What? <laughs> what? Man, th this was a really, really funny SML episode. And towards the end, it got pretty dark with that the heart attack kid. I got pretty freaking dark. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised. I was wrong. I thought it was gonna be, you know, the no one carries thirty thousand dollars around, right? Unless, as I said, unless you're doing something that you don't want to be traced. That's why, you know, I was thinking, why else would there be thirty thousand dollars? But it was for a GoFundMe for the kid's heart transplant. Oh my goodness, that was a freaking twist. That was a plot twist if I've ever seen one. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share with a friend. If you're new, hit subscribe and join the family. Also, make sure you go subscribe to Super Luigi Logan as well as Super Mario Logan. Both links are in the description. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.